Alright guys, welcome to my school breakdown of the Abyssal Angel class. This class was made by Sync, and this information I got from Sync. So, let's get started. And, this information is very old and may not be correct. But, I thought I'd put it out there because this is probably... I would bet a, like 80% of this stuff is probably going to stay the same. Uh, might change, maybe like 70% of it will stay the same. Uh, the percentages are probably old because it, this is information from a few years ago, but most of this stuff will be uh, pretty, pretty, it should be accurate, okay? <laughs> so it's not 100% guys, but it should be, should be on point. I, I, like I said, I got this right from sync. Let's get started in 3, 2, this way forever. <laughs> Alright guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is throw up uh, the build. I don't know what level this, uh, what this build is for, but like if you go to your uh, stats in class, it's this thing right here. The strength, your intellect, endurance, dexterity, wisdom, and luck. So for strength, you got 21 intellect, you got 97. That's a lot of intellect. Although, this, like I said, this is a few years old. Um, endurance 80, Dexterity 17, Wisdom 90, and Luck 35. So that it's probably pretty similar to the uh, class that I'm actually using right now. So, um, except for uh, in 2014, what was the level cap? 45, 50. So actually, it might have been it might have been 55. I don't know, but this is a lower level, of course, than the level I'm currently at. So these stats are going to be a lot higher than the uh, stats I just gave you. So this should be on screen if you want to read those. Alright, for skill uh, 1, uh, your auto attack is a 1.75 second cooldown. Uh, it's physical damage. Um, so, yeah, ranged archer is basically the arching, the ranger class is basically the only one with ranged auto attack in the game, so that's a, to be expected that it would be physical damage on your first skill. Uh, your auto attack, I mean. Uh, flight is your first skill. Spread your wings and take flight. Applies vantage point, increasing hit chance and evasion chance by 15% for 12 seconds. Costs 12 mana and cooldown of 14 seconds physical. So it's a physical attack, of course, and uh, increases your invasion and hit chance. So pretty good skill. Good to apply that before you get into like a PvP match. So your uh, hit chance is higher. Alright, for the second skill, we have... Aploctic overdrive <laughs> in flight uh, is in play. If flight is in play, dives at lightning speed, striking the opponent for moderately strong damage, applies a gust, stunning the opponent for four seconds. So basically, if you're using flight, you get a stun. So if you applied the first skill, you get a four second stun. If you didn't apply the fourth skill, the first skill, uh, if it's not in play. Uh, applies catalyst doubling haste for eight seconds. So basically if if you didn't use your first skill, you're gonna get a um, Double dodge chance basically, but if you did apply your first skill, you're gonna get a four second stun. Hopefully I'm explaining this correctly um, Gamma ray is your third skill uh, fires a beam of photon energy dealing moderate damage to the opponent either applies Decompose a moderate DOT for 10 seconds or applies hinder lowering their chances to crit by 25 for 10 seconds. I Feel like this skill is one of the ones that's going to change a lot uh, because this information is pretty old uh, Because this seems very weak for today's classes this uh, the gamma ray skill, but hopefully Hopefully it's buffed because that seems pretty weak uh, just lowering their critical chance uh, especially with the recent like uh, AE going against the criticals, they don't really like that too much anymore. Um, they, they want luck to not be an <laughs> enchant, it seems. Alright, your rank 4 passives. As follows, hit chance of 15%, that's very good. And crit and evasion by 10. So I'm guessing that crit and evasion might be increased to 15 also. Um, like I said, these aren't like, this isn't, this isn't accurate information, this is just this is all guesses that I got from an old video I found, so don't don't like quote me on any of this information. This is all just rumor. None of this is confirmed to be actually true. Now your last and final, your alt skill, your fifth skill, 
this one, the big daddy skill. Uh, if Kalish Shield coats your wings with the finest crystals you've spawned for 40% damage reduction for 8 seconds, 35% uh, chance to apply clean cut, increasing your chance to critically strike by 20% for the duration, mana 32, cooldown 14. So it takes quite a bit of your mana and it has quite a long cooldown, but it does increase your chance to critical critically hit by 20% which is pretty high and yeah it also gives you a lot of damage reduction so uh, as far as combos to this you'd probably want to go 2 5 or 2 3 5 and then use your 4 sparingly uh, unless they buff that because your 4 does have the uh, dot on it but yeah this does sound like a really good class honestly it actually reminds me a lot of 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 um, Artifact Hunter, except for it doesn't have knockback. It's basically Artifact Hunter without knockback, because Artifact Hunter had a chance to stun. Actually, this has a confirmed 4 second stun, or like a 100% chance not confirmed, but a 100% chance stun. So yeah, uh, that's the class skill breakdown. Hopefully you enjoy it, guys. Like I said, none of this information is at all uh, factually correct. At all, none of it. It's all speculation that I got from a really old video that I will explain in a few seconds. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Tell me what you thought about this class. I don't know. Leave a like on the video, guys, if you're excited for the class. And I will see you all in the next one. My opinion on the class is it's very cool. I can't wait for it to come out. And I'm glad that Think got to make the class that he posted a video on in 2014. So quite a while ago. And, uh, yeah, there's also, like, uh, originally Zeraldo got to make the class, but I guess Sync wanted to make a class, so Zeraldo let him make the class, so Sync finally gets to make the class that he wanted to make for so long, so that's very cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Alright, guys, thanks for watching the video. All the information I got in this video was based on a video that Sync uploaded in 2014, if you look at the, uh, Way down here. I actually just searched the class name to see where my video ranked in the search results, of course, because I was bored and curious. And uh, yeah, I found Sync uploaded a video about the Abyssal Angel class in uh, 2014, and he said it was for a staff member that was leaving, and he made the class, and I guess this is him implementing it into the game. He goes through the whole class in this, and that's what I explained to you guys in the video. So I'll leave a link to uh, Sync's original video in the description if you want to check it out. Uh, go uh, check out his video and leave a like on it, guys. So I will see you guys all in the next video. Have a great day. Peace. Click the video in the top right corner if you haven't seen it yet. Hit it.